Hi, this is Chris Schomburg, and I'm your instructor for ACDC. Now, specifically, what we're going to talk about here is the Tinkercad electronics. And in this case, we're going ahead and we're working on the PNP instead of the NPN transistor. Now, the differences between the PNP and the NPN is really the doping. And the NPN transistor starts with negative electrons, then it has protons or holes in this case, which is a positive charge, and then it has negative electrons. So it's doped with a negative, a positive, and a negative. Okay, the PMP is the opposite. It has a positive doping, then with a negative doping, then with a positive doping. Okay, so the, really the differences are really the doping, and we'll see that it's going to be actually a very similar result if you wire this correctly. However, the thing is that we're actually going to reverse the polarity in this case. So instead of what once was a negative terminal going into our, uh, you know, our, our first line, we're going to actually put a positive or a, a high a high signal. So let's look at this a little bit more. So if we look right here, this is the NPN transistor. You can see that we have the negative rail on the left hand side and we have the positive rail on the right hand side. Uh, if we go to the PNPN transistor, this is how we're going to go ahead and make this. We're going to take the left hand side is going to be our positive. The right hand side is going to be our negative. So the left hand side right here is going to go ahead and be positive. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to make that a red. And the right hand side, the right hand side is going to be our negative. And then the interesting thing is you follow that logic, really all that's going to change is the collector and emitter in this case. So, so we're going to just change the collector and the emitter. The base is going to stay the same. So if we go ahead and we look at that, Let's go ahead, if we take this logic and we just kind of run with it, we're going to go with here, we're going to go, I'm going to go across to, I'm going to actually go a little bit lower, so I'm going to go, you know, let's go to 15, I'm going to take the high signal, I'm going to put it all the way across, okay? Now, if we think about this, we're going to then take the PMP, notice the PMP in this case is actually the opposite direction that the, the NPN was. Okay, that's the key point here. Does the NPN have the flat side um, that we're looking at? Now we're looking at from the round side. So we'll actually be hooking it up into the round side of this guy. Okay, so the next thing that we need to do is we need to go ahead and we're going to actually put in what hasn't changed. Um, and that is going to go ahead, that's going to be a jumper up. Now in this case, because this is a high signal, I'm going to make this guy a yellow. Okay. Why this is a yellow is because it's going from the high signal through the PNP transistor, and so it's not going to drop drop that much, so it's going to be a very high signal, so we're going to do that. The next thing we need to do is we need to get our LEDs. Okay, and in this case, we're going to reverse the order that we had before. So before we had this as a negative going into this terminal, now we're going to actually have a positive, so we're going to reverse the order of our LEDs as well. So, so let me do that. There we go. We're going to go ahead. Okay, so we're going to put the positive in there, so like that. Okay, so now we have our LED. Now we're going to go, this again, this is our base emitter, remember? This is our base. So it's not the emitter or the collector, it's just the base. So then I'm going to go from there, and in this case I'm not going to change anything because it's basically the same thing. I'm going to go with a turquoise right here. I'm then going to put in the switch. There we go. Then I'm going to go from the other end of the switch, uh, and I'm just going to go up like that. Okay, I'm going to make that blue. Okay, so this hasn't changed. This part hasn't changed that much. Um, I'm going to rotate this resistor. But let me, there we go. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go from the ground terminal. Okay, this time it's the ground terminal to this blue station. And I'm going to change the resistance. Boys. I, I, you know, it's it's this kind of thing. You're like, whoa, okay. There we go. 
So we want to change the resistance. I'm actually going to maximize this so we can see this. We want this to be 33K. There we go. That looks good. So then I'm actually, I know this is, I could just use that resistor. I'm going to delete that resistor and I'm just going to copy this resistor just because it's that much easier to do. I'll set this one right up here somewhere. Okay. So then let's follow that logic. So then we, we want the first pin, the collector pin right here, um, to go up to that to the, the LED and to the other one. So we're going to go ahead and rotate this LED. I think two rotations should. Nope, we need one more. It's hard to see. Okay, there we go. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to take that. We're going to take the negative um, terminal and put it up to that resistor. So I'm going to actually move it into the F, and this is F2. There we go. Okay, so then th now we're going to go with the orange from that first terminal, the collector terminal. We're going to go to the orange to the, the LED right there. Okay, now that right there, that line, I'm going to go ahead and make orange. Now why it's orange is because, again, it's not a very high drop through the transistor, so I'm thinking these could be pretty high signals. Okay, so it looks like we have it pretty much wired up. So let's go ahead and let's uh, make this big, and then we'll uh, go ahead and see what we can do. If we hit the start button, nothing should happen. And then once we start it, we actually do see a current flow. Now in this case, it's not actually blowing out anything at this point. The reason that is is because we have the 33 kill um, resistors. Now, if we want to go ahead and change these back to something that would give us a reading, we're going to change it to ohms. We're going to change it to 22 ohms. Now, you could follow along with your kits with this. We do have two 22 ohm resistors, so this is exactly something that you could go ahead and build and test the differences. Now, if we look at here. Remember, this one's our base. Okay, so if we click on this, it's saying it's 27.2 milliamps versus a 20 milliamps is what they require, so this will burn out the LED. But again, that was 27.2, and this one right here is that. So that was the base was lower than this guy, which is at uh, 30.7 milliamps. So we have actually confirmed this. This is properly working. And we actually are seeing that the collector is a higher current than the base. And so basically they work together. If, if the base is off, they're both off, okay? If the base is on, that base current boosts or amplifies that collector current. Okay, now you might say, okay, that's enough. We've basically seen this. We've, we've basically proven this. Yeah. It, it's pretty good. I think that's a pretty good explanation of what's going on. However, I've actually done a little bit more work ahead of this, and I actually have both of these circuits. In this case, I have them with the meters themselves. So now we have meters, and we can get, basically see this difference. So we're going to start with 30, 33 kilo ohm resistor um, for all of these. We're going to start this. Notice nothing happens when the base current doesn't have current, so they are linked together. When we add the base current, we end up seeing a very high collector current, or a higher collector current than the base current in the PMP transistor. If we go ahead and we do the same thing for the MPN transistor, we're going to see the identical levels. Okay, so again, this is two, 273 microamps. This is 273 microamps. The base current is 253 microamps. Ba the base current here is 253 microamps. So they're identical. The only difference, again, is that our negative, right, our polarity has changed. Basically, we are changing the doping in the transistor to allow it to be the opposite way that you actually put it. So basically, the, the positive 9 volts is going into a different location, you know, so it's, it's going in to right here, it's going into right here, 
the, the third pin, and in here, the positive is actually, let's see, or the negative is going into that first, first pin. So it's basically just, we've reversed this in a little ways, and all we've done is we've just reversed the polarity in this, because the PNP and NPN are identical in their operation. They just require different voltages and different currents. And basically what that means is that really where this is a high signal, this is a low signal. So this is a high signal, this is a low signal. The base has not changed, okay? So we're not changing the base. But the high signal from the ground is now a high, or the low signal from the ground is now a high signal from in here. So they're basically just opposite in the, um, in the polarity or the, the signal that we're getting. So a high signal is now a low signal, the low signal is now a high signal. That's essentially what we're doing here. Now let's take this one step further because I think it's good to do this. Let's go ahead back down to our 22 ohms and we're going to go 22 ohms right here. I'm going to put this one at 22 ohms. Okay, so we'll go ahead and put these guys at 22 ohms as well. Okay, and this one right here is at 22 ohms. Okay, now they should operate identically. Again, we saw with this with the 33 kilo ohm. Now we're going to go ahead and see it with the 22 ohm. Oh, sorry, 220 ohm. So this is the 220 ohm. We're actually seeing 40, 40.4 milliamps. And this one we're seeing. 36.8 milliamps. Again, the collector current is higher than the base current. Here we're seeing 40.4 milliamps and we're seeing 36.9 milliamps. It's very, very little difference. I, I think that's actually maybe an error in the virtual reality in this case. But basically what we're seeing then is we're seeing the base current is lower than the collector current. Again, the base current is lower than the collector current. Really kind of a cool thing, cool result. Again, this is a PNP. This is an NPN. So PMP on the left, NPN on the right. And uh, I think that's a pretty cool result that we're seeing basically the exact same thing, at least virtually, that we would see with the PMP and with the NPN. Just We just have to wire them a little bit differently because they're opposite doping.